I was in Warrior with Kurt Angle. I played his manager. Oh! <laughs> and we were and we were cut from that too. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's how the many, first thing I've ever been cut from. Actually. How many movies have you been cut from? Well, I I always like to say that at this point uh I if I had a podcast of everything that I've been like cut from or bumped from, it, I would have 14 episodes of a podcast. Okay. That's a good start. <laughs> You know, you, what if that turned into more opportunities and more jobs you got cut from? Like, that's 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 an idea. Really <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, at least the, at least the check cleared, I hope. So I, ju I, I got a residual check today for Warrior. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You still get residuals when you've been cut from a film? If yeah. you're still, if your name's still in the credits, baby. Wow. I work. I worked like two months on that movie. <laughs> I learned. I learned Russian. <laughs> that is wait, a whole. Wait, episode. you learned Russian to manage Kurt Angle? Oh, he played Koba, a Russian wrestler. He was like, like the Fedor character. When we, when they originally made that movie, it was really like Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton had to fight the Russian. But then, the fighter came out and won a bunch of awards. And so they redid the movie. They re-edited the movie. They held it for like two and a half years. Um, and they re-edited it and made it more about the brothers Nick Nolte. And Nick Nolte got nominated for Best Sporting Actor. Jeez. Hmm. So now I've been cut from multiple span, movies mm -hmm. that have had been nominated for Oscars. Because you were, uh, what was the one that you were just <laughs> cut from? Judas and the Black Messiah, Judas six Academy Awards. There you go. They cut my scene. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! All I'm saying is the moral of the story is I'm the best auditioner. No, ever. You, no, you know what you gotta mm. say you're too hot for HBO Max. That's what it is. That's it. <laughs> too That's it. Hot for Max. There mm -hmm. you go. That's I. I won't put that under your graphic for this. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so random. That's why I was like, oh yeah, like you. I thought you knew that. Uh, so random. So so Warrior was originally essentially supposed to be. MMA Rocky three, it re it re it really kind of was man. It was wow. uh, yeah because Kurt fought like seven matches, mm -hmm. full matches. He filmed like seven or eight full matches. Oh my god! Uh, that's why I was there for like forty three days. Yeah, that's wild. Crazy, I know. And they changed it completely. And why why would you get an an American gold medalist to play a Russian? Like, I mean, he, Kurt, he looked like Kurt a mean ass Russian dude. Um, I guess, but I like well, I look at Kurt Angle. That guy could not look Russian to me if he was running. But also, okay, okay, first of all, Mike, you and I need to do a watch along of this movie, obviously, because I, I hadn't seen it yet. Um, I've not yeah. seen it. I also need to see Southpaw because our buddy uh, Cameraman Rob is in the, like the crowd and as an good. extra over there. Uh, yeah. So, so, so we get, we gotta put that on the list. I'm sure we can find it. Um, but also, but uh, uh, I forgot what I was going from that. Oh, so Kurt Angle, like, what? Who do you think he wrestled in the Olympics? Was 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 the Russians and the scariest damn Russians, at least I according to his book from my re remember reading like 15 years ago. So, I mean, I think he's got some firsthand knowledge on that one. Yeah, no, according to him, like, he that's he knew uh, he wrestled Russians, you know? He had firsthand knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, and plus, too, I mean, that was him really kind of trying to get an acting career. You oh, know, yeah. he was trying to really start an acting career. Yeah, yeah. After that, he did a bunch of, like, action movies and stuff. Yeah, he did a lot of really bad, low-budget ones. We ran into him. I think Death from Above was the, one, the name of the oh, one. Oh, yeah, dude. We went to the premiere over in Carnegie. It was like him and, and and then James Storm was in it and like a bunch yeah. of TNA people at the time. Yeah. Uh, and it was you know it was like he, we interviewed him. He told us what the budget was. He was like, well, it was pretty good for like a five thousand dollar movie or you know, I, don't, yeah. I don't know exact number, but it was something like that. But and isn't it, it funny that like someone like him? Yeah. Even though he's at the top of his game in another industry, mm -hmm. just to cross over. I mean, think about how many wrestlers have tried to cross over and and were had mm -hmm. to. You have to be like being cable movies and being garbage shit. You know what I mean? I look at Hulk Hogan's entire movie career. 